And like I mentioned, this is a re-implementation of their previous game, Vindication, which also just so happens to be their most popular game. This is a game that often finds itself on top of many reviewers' top 100s, and it is a game that I do have in my collection, although you can't see it because it's at the bottom of the shelf. And it's also a game that has a ton of expansions for it out at this point, so it's no surprise that they are making this new edition, and I'm sure they're going to be incorporating a lot of those expansions into the core rule set, which definitely gives them a lot more opportunity to streamline the rules since they can just consider everything up to this point and incorporate it in the rules from the start. There'll definitely be a few other changes as well, but just at my thousand foot view, this game looks very similar to Vindication, and I don't expect that you'll want both of them in your collection. My guess is that this one will probably be a little less fiddly than the original if you do play the original with all the expansions. And I'm not saying that the original is a fiddly game, but once you start incorporating all these expansions and additional components and rules and different rule books, that just inherently adds to all the things that you have to juggle around, whereas this new version is going to have everything consolidated. It looks like they've also made some small changes with the player boards, but the biggest difference I'm seeing here is that they've separated the main board into two boards, whereas in the original Vindication these were all in a single board. It looks like there's also going to be a slight difference with the theme, but it looks like this version is going to be taking more of a sci-fi approach and you're just going to see a little bit more of that reflected in the artwork. If you're not already familiar with the original game and you're wondering how it plays, I'm not going to be going into those details in this video here, but there is a ton of great content on YouTube that you can find from other content creators, but a main mechanism that you'll notice is that there is a lot of cube conversion in this game. Players are going to be building up different traits that you're going to be using as resources to take different actions, and you're going to be keeping track of all those different traits on this trait board here, but what's really cool about the way that this works is that there's these common attributes known as your ambition, your cunning, and your might. And you're going to be building up your cubes in those areas a little bit easier. But then there are the prime attributes, which are your intrigue, your ingenuity, and your guile. And in order to build up those attributes, you're going to have to combine the attributes that are adjacent to them. Players are going to be taking their actions by moving their player pawns on the other board, moving in between the different hexes there, and uncovering any new hexes that they move adjacent to. You're normally going to be choosing your actions from the different hexes that are adjacent to you, and there are a bunch of different actions and bonuses that these different hexes can provide. The game offers multiple paths to victory, and you can upgrade your character in a number of ways, which is also a really nice way to allow you to move a little bit easier out on the board. And I think a few of the reasons that this game is so popular is that it just does such a great job offering such a wide decision space throughout the entirety of the game, which not only creates a very different game every time that you play this, but it also creates a lot of opportunities for comboing in different ways. I'm a big fan of this game, but I do admit that I don't get it to the table very often, so I'm really interested with this version is going to be offering in terms of streamlining, and if I think that's going to help get this to the table a little bit more, this might be something that I am willing to invest in. If this is one that you think you might be interested in, I definitely recommend checking it out in the description below and following along because it will get you a free promo pack added to your pledge.